Howdy everyone. So today I got a couple of quick things I want to touch on. First and foremost, the Ender 3 is now for a short period of time on sale at GearBest for $179. This was told to me last evening and this was the first chance I had to get online and post it. I have a coupon code for you and a link below. And I tested it about half an hour ago and this is this is July 12th and it's 3 p.m. my time now in the western U.S. So it was good about 30 minutes ago and it is $20 off the normal price which brings it to $179. If you're in the U.S. make sure you select USA line shipping to get free shipping. And the price is the same whether the discount is the same whether you're getting the USA plug or the EU plug and I don't know why you'd care. It's just a standard computer power supply plug. You've probably got, if you're like me, you probably got a dozen of them floating around in a box. So that's the first thing I wanted to touch on. And there will be links below. And of course, they are affiliate links. If you have a problem with affiliate links, they don't cost you any more. But if you don't like them, you can go to GearBest and that code should work even without an affiliate link. So next thing I want to cover is I want to thank everybody who gave me advice on how to fix the corrupt screen corruption on this, which is my earlier Ender 3 printer. <clears throat> I have reflashed it, and I've done all this at once, so I, if, if it fixed it, I don't really know which one fixed it. But if it does it again, we'll figure it out. I have reflashed it. I have initialized the EEPROM after flashing it. And I have checked the connections and reseeded everything. And somebody even suggested, and they prefaced it with, this may sound crazy, and it kind of does. But I've also loosened the belts, both belts slightly. I don't tighten toothed belts, Gilmer-type belts, very much to begin with. But I loosened them a little bit, and we'll see. He said he tried it on his Anit A8, and it fixed it. So might have been a coincidence, but who knows. So thank you all for helping me with that. It has not done it again since, and this is like the third or fourth print job since then. Next up on the list, I have been wanting to print with flexible filament. And that was one of the reasons why I've experimented with changing the extruders, because I wanted to make sure I was going to have good success with flexible filament. So I bought this roll of filament. Let me tip the camera back so you can see it. I bought this roll of filament off eBay. It is has no name as no name filament comes. It doesn't even have a tag telling me what heat to run it at. It has nothing. And it comes on this weird little spool, which actually wouldn't fit on the stock spool holder on the Ender 3. I had to print some little thing from Thingiverse, and I'll put a link in there too. I've wound up changing it on both of my printers because I like it. So, and here I got a piece of the filament here. You can see it. It is this kind of translucent blue, and it is about as flexible as flexible gets. It, um, it doesn't have a lot of stretch to it, a little bit, but not a lot, but it is just crazy flexible. So first thing I printed was some little cubes. And you can see the bottom of the first one didn't turn out too good, didn't stick to the glass very well. So I kind of made some adjustments, and the second one turned out really nice. And you can see it's, um, they're very flexible and pretty sturdy too. I mean, I can pull it, let's see if I can get, I can pull it apart as hard as I can and um, it's not separating. So it's a pretty strong filament and it seems like it printed really well for me. Sides are very smooth. So I'll tell you my settings here in a minute. What I did, well, I'll tell them to you right now. I turned the speed down to 25 millimeters per second. I turned the first layer to half speed. I set the, well, first I turned retraction completely off. I set the bed to 70. I set the first layer temperature to 230 and second and on to 220. And I'm getting really good prints. This is, uh, don't laugh at me now, okay? This is a flexible, <laughs> a phone case for my phone. But I didn't realize it until after I printed it. I got it off Thingiverse. I didn't realize, realize till after I printed it that it's really not meant for flexible filament. And, you know, this stuff is just crazy flexible. You can just about tie this phone case in a knot. And, uh, of course, the phone won't stay in it. I got a little bit of string 
I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a little bit of stringing in it. It's pretty easy just to grab it and pull it off or cut it off with a, a little pair of scissors. Probably cut, probably use a um, heat gun on it and it would shrink it back as well. But boy, the print is really strong. It's, I couldn't pull that apart if I tried. Next thing I printed was this little triangle piece to keep my flashlights from rolling away. I have a bad habit of setting things down and then knocking them over. And of course, they immediately roll toward the nearest side and then fall off down in some deep, dark crevice, which God knows what's lurking back there. And since I get these things for free from Harbor Freight, I'm probably not going to bother going after one when it falls like that right away. So I printed these. They fit on there. They fit on really snug. You kind of got to wrestle them on there, but they fit on really good when they're on there. And it's not going to roll anywhere with those on there. And you can see it's um. I can I can squish it a little bit, but it's really sturdy. Then I printed I tried vase mode, so I printed this rocket ship in vase mode. And um, single wall, same settings as before except vase mode turned on. And you see it's um, you could, you could put the, you could put this thing in an envelope. <laughs> completely flat and mail it to somebody it is really strong i can't really pull it apart so i mean for a no-name filament i'm really pretty happy with that i'm not exactly sure what i'm going to do with um what the real practical purposes of uses for this are but it sure is a heck of a lot of fun to print with and it sure does print nice what's on the print bed now is the same filament of course and i'm printing a couple of little rings that go around the knob here and help me spin it a little easier with the side of my finger. Whether that'll prove valuable or not, I don't know. But what the heck, I got the stuff I want to print things with it, and it is proving to be a lot of fun. But retraction off, 230 on the first layer, 220 on the second layers. Speed to 25 millimeter per second, half speed on the first layer. I've got the fan running, the parts cooling fan running at 50% on layer 2 and up. Bed heat at 70, and I'm really having good luck with it. I'm very pleased. And got some other goodies coming up in the near future. Got a new toy arriving we're going to have some fun with when I get it. Of course, it's coming from China, so it may be six, five or six weeks before I get it. But um, we're going to have a boatload of fun with it, and I got some nylon filament as well. I'm going to play with. As soon as I get done playing with the, um, the flexible filament, I'm going to get the nylon filament in there, and I'm going to see how strong that is. Not to mention, it's 110 degrees out here in Arizona, so we're going to see how well that nylon filament survives out in the sun. And I may have a shoot off of that stuff between the, the PLA, the nylon, the PETG, and... Um, I think we know ABS will probably take the 110 degree Fahrenheit outside here, but I'm not sure about all the others, but we'll print that up and try it. So that's it for today. Uh, again, the affiliate link is down below and the $20 off coupon code for the Ender 3 will be down there as well. And I'll put the link to the spool holder and that I had to switch to get that other roll of spool to fit on there. And I think that's about it for now. If you have any questions, please ask down below and I'll do my best to answer. And thanks again for everybody for supporting me by clicking on my affiliate links. If you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. And I will catch you the next time around. Have a great day. Bye-bye.